Hello, this is Roland. Welcome. Today I want to talk about um, I want to talk about anxiety. I want to talk about anxiety because uh, it's a problem a lot of people have more and more. They they talk about the age of anxiety. Now many people have anxiety. What's going on? Well, let's talk about it. Well, first of all, anxiety is not necessarily a bad thing. In fact, it can be well, a good thing in this respect. In other words, like let's take pain for example. Is pain a bad thing? Well, we don't like pain, but it, it's a warning. It's a warning. Okay? Then if you heed the pain and you take care of the cause of it, then you're okay again. But if you use methods of getting rid of the pain, you know, they call that symptom relief so that there's no more pain. Well, it's like, um, have you heard of uh, a leprosy, for example? I understand, you know, you see people with leprosy. I don't know a lot about it, but I've seen pictures, you know, where they have their hands are all damaged and everything. Apparently, it's because they lose um, sensation. So they can be, um, for example, have put their hand on a hot stove and wouldn't even know it. And since there's no pain, there's no warning, and then by the time they see what's going on, it's too late. The damage has been done, you see. So pain is not, necess is not a bad thing. Now, while we're on the topic of pain, why is it that people have a real problem with pain? Well, one of the reasons is um, they, that they resent it. They resent it, see? Whenever you resent something, it intensifies it. For example, if you were to resent um, a noise, okay, some loud noise. If you were to resent a loud noise, then whenever you heard that loud noise again, it would begin to bother you. It would begin to make you nervous, uncomfortable. You would feel discomfort, um, tension, because of the resentment. Same thing with people. If you allow someone to begin to, ir to get to you where you resent them, then before long they irritate you and so on. See, it's the resentment. So we resent the pain. Or we resent, we resent the pain. We resent the, our body. We resent the doctor. Okay. We resent the doctor's bills. We resent treatment. We resent the pills. We resent the humiliation. See, we resent the bother. We resent ourselves. See what I mean? Resentment can be of just all kinds of different things, but re but the result of the resentment is that it intensifies the discomfort, and then you can't deal with it properly. See, dealing with it properly means to observe it without resentment. Okay, now let's talk about anxiety. Um, so what is anxiety then? Anxiety is like um, a psychic warning that something is not right. Okay, something is not right. Um, or something is about to be not right, or we're afraid that something is not going to be right. And that often, see, th the reason is, is because, well, there's a couple of reasons. One, we lack courage. We, l we, we have resented many things in our lives. We've resented so many things, we haven't dealt with life properly, we've run from it. See, nowadays they make it easy to run from life. Back in the old days, back in the day, it wasn't so easy to run. See, because um, reality had an immediacy to it. You know, if the crops failed, there was no food. If all of a sudden here comes a big bear to attack you on your ranch, See, or there's ba here come bad guys riding in on horses with guns. See what I mean? You can't hide. You have to do something or perish. See, if you're on a long trip like the pioneers coming over the mountains, and there you are out in the middle of nowhere and the wagon wheel breaks. See, or someone gets sick or you run out of food or there's no water or here comes a snowstorm and you're stuck for the winter. All of these things, you have to deal with them. Okay, you, people had to deal with them. See, and then because they were because people were closer to 
nature, closer to life, big families. So there were deaths. Grandma died, grandma died right in the house, not far away, not in a different, different distant place, in a hospital, in some, some sterile environment. It was a home. People were tougher in that way. But well, so today we can escape. We don't have to face any life at all for a long time. We can just sit in school, watch TV, listen to music, play with our iPhone, text each other, play video games. See, in a way you could say we're overprotected. You know there are new dangers, bullies, and so on. But 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 you get the idea, though. We can we can escape into games and fantasy and all those kinds of things. You see. So then, when something comes along that we can't escape from, we feel anxiety. Okay. Oh no. Here here comes here's a test. I have to take this test. If before you had a bad experience with the test and you overreacted, see that's the other thing, we overreact. So resentment is one problem. And the other problem is that we have um, overreacted. We have overreacted. And so now here comes any little thing and we feel anxiety. See? So what's the answer? Well, for starters, see I haven't covered all the reasons for anxiety haven't even scratched the surface but I've given you a couple of clues about some things that you can do something about okay I've given you some clues about things you can do something about and so what can you do well for example you could get my meditation my easy meditation it, it teaches you how to stand back from um, from negative thoughts and observe the negative thoughts and or negative emotions to so stand back and observe them it teaches you how to get centered it teaches you how to get centered in reality centered okay it teaches you how to come out of out from your daydream world from your fantasies where you've been hiding to reality okay but this time centered this time pre-armed with patience this time with objectivity and it show and it shows you how to just to, to observe what's happening without reacting see how beautiful that is so you really ought to get the easy meditation and give it a try it's free okay give it a try see if it helps that doesn't mean it will take the anxiety away as a matter of fact a lot of people who have been spent their whole life hiding in fantasy, when they start to get better, I mean, when they start to meditate and come out of their shell and face life, see, then they experience more anxiety, see, more anxiety, because now they're facing things that before they ran from, before they couldn't handle, but now, see, with the help of the meditation, now that you're more centered, You'll be in touch with your own inner ground of good. You can flow from within. See? You'll be able to look at things and re respond reasonably. And then when you respond reasonably, um, you'll find that you are the master of many situations. And then with that success, you see, then it, it, it's, it's a snowball effect for the good. Whereas in the past, the snowball effect was for toward the bad, toward more reacting, getting upset and hiding and see, now it's toward more and more mastery, more and more self-confidence, more and more poise. See? All right. So you give it a try. The easy meditation. My name is Rowan.